hanging from all of our pile of crap. <laughs> it's so humid out here, this camera is fogging. Let's get started on moving. Oh my gosh. So today we've rented a U-Haul to move all this stuff, all the small stuff. Eric's in take care of business mode already. I'm in film mode, so <laughs> he's probably not happy about that. But we've got this whole U-Haul today and we're just gonna try to fill it with as much stuff as possible. So let's do it. Oh, hello, voiceover Miley here. And just to let you know, you'll probably see a lot more of Eric in this time lapse than you will of me. And there are two reasons for that. One, because I was actually loading the Subaru with all the little random stuff still inside of our house. And two, my main goal for the day was to move as little heavy things as possible. So I was avoiding boxes at all costs. I got real creative on the tasks that I found for myself that day. How's it coming, Scrimple? Great. How do you feel about all my Christmas decor? Hate it as much as I do in December. <laughs> So the Subaru is chocked full. That's what I've been loading. And hello, um, time lapse. This is what we're working with, with the U-Haul. We have so much space still, so that's good. All right, we're all clear with the first load. Eric's in the U-Haul. I'm in the Subaru. Off we go to Shawnee. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, you guys, we got to Shawnee and unloaded the Subaru and the stuff that was in the garage that Eric had dropped off in a hurry yesterday before rehearsal. Um, the U-Haul is still completely full, um, but we are so hungry we're about to go eat lunch and then we'll come back. And this is a prime example of why Eric and I are the greatest couple in the entire world, like why we're so perfect for each other. Because I hate hate manual labor. I hate loading and unloading a U-Haul. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. I've done it way too many times in my life to hate it as much as I do, but I hate it. Eric, what do you hate about the moving process most? Unpacking and organizing everything. Eric hates unpacking, he hates organizing everything. That's where I thrive. So in this afternoon, we're gonna split. He's gonna unload the U-Haul. Put in my headphones. Let's put in his podcast. headphones, just chill out be in his own zone and I am going to organize in the air conditioning without having to do manual labor. So, and we're both perfectly happy to split up and make that happen, aren't we? Mm -hmm. I'm very happy for the afternoon. Um, let me show you really quickly before we see you in a sec after lunch um, where we're at, the current state of the house. So just from right where I was in the garage, this is Eric's office. Um, some of his office stuff is in here, nothing happening in the bathroom. A lot happening in the bedroom and my office. Um, pretty much all unloaded in here. We put this rug mat down. That's another thing we need to do right after lunch is um, unroll all the rugs because we brought all the rugs. Here's the bathroom sitch. We're, getting, we're going to dinner later with our friends Allie and Danny. Shout out to Allie and Danny. So that's why all our bathroom stuff is all over because we're just going to get ready here. Our closet's basically done. Guest room just has some art and pillows. Living room has all of our amazing rugs. Um, I'll tell you the rug story at some point. Probably, I'll tell you the rug saga when we unroll everything after lunch, but uh, there's a story with all these rugs. I went on a mission. Just some random living room stuff. Laid out the rug pad in the dining room and have some dining room art in there. The kitchen is probably where I'll start today. Guys, I just love this little kitchen. The blinds are shut now to keep the heat in, but um, it's so bright and airy and open and big, and I just love it, so I'm excited to organize everything in here. So. We're hungry, let's go eat. All right, y'all, let's lay some rugs. Our bellies are full from lunch. We're ready to kick this thing into high gear before we need to shower and change and go to dinner. So let's do it. So the rug story is just that I went on a marathon, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Etsy, like shopping excursion and didn't stop until I found the perfect rugs and wow if these are not all the perfect drugs. I give you more details when I show you them completely laid out coming soon in this video, but um, just know that it was an expedition, it was a journey. There were some accidental 3 a.m. eBay purchases that I may or may not regret now, but you know, it was fun. All right, we got it finangled. So 
my gosh, look at this gorgeous rug. And no, this is not a replica. This is not a recreation. This is actually a vintage Turkish rug. Imported from Turkey about 30 years ago for House in Nichols Hills. It has got the brightest like pinks and blues. I'm just obsessed with it and look how good it will look with that. And my cool brass antique serving tray. Oh, obsessed. Okay, and then our big giant, giant, giant rug will go in here. I'll show you that one when we get it out of the U-Haul. This is an accidental rug I bought on eBay accidentally. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I don't think we have room for it in this house. But then here is the master rug. This one is 100% silk. It's also not like a replica, but I love it because it's like this pinky peachy color that our bedroom is that color and some greens in this rug too, which we have in our bedroom and black. It's just like literally perfect for our bedroom. And it's got all these little like birds and leopards and oh, I just love it. I think it's so fun. That is the rug situation. Now Eric is officially unloading the U-Haul and I am officially going into organization mode. How you feeling, Scrimp? Good. He's already got his headphones in, he's ignoring me, so it's all good. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I don't even know where we left you. It's the end of day one, and let me show you where we're at. It's a little scary. Um, okay, so the rug saga. This, this is the living room rug. It's so beautiful, it fits the space perfectly. I love it, but and I mean, look at those colors. It is just so vibrant and beautiful. So that's the living room rug. Oh, gorgeous, look at that. I can't wait to see it with all of our art in here and our furniture. It's just gonna be so beautiful. So this is where the living room is. This is the dining rug you already saw. Our cute dining bench. This is the state of the freaking kitchen. Ugh, I see this and it stresses me out. I wanted to get this done today, but I overestimated my ability or underestimated my ability, I don't know. In here hasn't changed at all. Eric's office is full of boxes. Our room has probably changed the most. We got curtains hung. My office is pretty much completely unpacked now. So real quick version of the rug saga. I found the rug in the living room and the rug in the dining room. They are true vintage, imported from Turkey, bought for a home in Nichols Hills 30 years ago and never actually unrolled. So they've been rolled for 30 years, okay? So they are true vintage. I got them on Facebook Marketplace from the nicest lady for a steal of a deal, you guys, okay? If you don't know these rugs, they go for thousands of dollars. And I paid just over a thousand dollars for both of them, which the living room rug is like a 12 and a half by 15 and a half, you guys. That's unheard of. And this one is a 100% silk vintage rug. And I got it for 300, $300, it's an eight by 10. And then the one that's rolled up in the sunroom right now that we don't know what to do with is the one I accidentally bought on eBay one night at 3 a.m. So it turns out, life lesson, if you make a bid on something on eBay thinking, oh, they'll never accept this bid, it's so low, they'll never give it to me for this much, you will get an email the next morning that says, congratulations, your bid has been accepted, make your payment now, and there is no opt out button. So $500 later, I had to buy that rug. <laughs> Learned my lesson, but now I have this beautiful rug that I don't know what to do with. So we may just store it until we eventually buy a house and hopefully have space for it then. So that's the rug saga. We're done for the day. I'm gonna shower, Eric just hopped out of the shower. We're going to dinner with our friends Allie and Danny, like I said earlier. Then tomorrow, I'm gonna come to this house in the morning and just organize everything so that the movers can move the furniture in and then start unpacking. And Eric is going to meet the movers at our current house in Yukon and help them like, you know, know what to do and what goes where. And so they'll come here by probably mid morning, early afternoon. Um, so yeah, we'll show you that, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, friends. It is day two and it's real moving day. I'm here at the new house, just like trying to <sighs> get as much organized and out of the way so that the movers can move the big furniture in without stuff being in the way. So that's what we're doing right now. I probably won't film any of that just cause it's kind of the same of what you've seen, but I will start filming when the movers get here and action starts happening and big stuff starts coming in. Hopefully it all fits in their truck. Hopefully they get it done within the hours that have been estimated so we don't have to pay any extra. Um, and hopefully I survive and stay sane. My goal, my goal, and people think I'm crazy, but this is how I do moves. My goal is to have everything unpacked and absolutely done by the end of Sunday. Today's Saturday. I know that sounds crazy, but we've done a lot of prep work leading up to like, for example, my closet is completely done. Everything in the bedroom is 
totally organized and ready to be put exactly where it needs to go as soon as the furniture gets here. So like, that's kind of how I do it. I just go, 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 go until it's done. I do not like living out of boxes. I don't like seeing clutter around. I don't like seeing things left undone, like art not being hung or whatever. So I'm just gonna marathon it until it's done. And that to me is so much better and so much easier than living with boxes for months on end. We're gonna be dead by Monday, but that's okay, because hopefully the house will be done, or as close to done as possible. And also my manicure has lasted completely through moving everything yesterday, so here's to hoping that I don't break it now. That is a very full truck. How full this giant truck is. Oh my gosh. It's huge, and it's chocked full, and they had to put a little bit of stuff in this truck too, but we're making it happen making it happen okay you guys here is a progress shot they've got the big heavy couch moved in eric's eating lunch the kitchen the fridge is in we had to use our garage fridge because our pretty nice fridge is too tall this is all kitchen stuff that's matthew talking to my mother and taking a nap by the vent because it's hot this is the current state of the living room guest bedroom primary bedroom they're killing it eric's office oh my gosh you guys it's been a freaking day it's been a day so the movers have come and gone the movers that we had were great guys wow they helped so much they wrapped the furniture so well they moved everything nothing broke like nothing it, it they did a fantastic job if you're looking for movers in the Oklahoma City area. I think they're called like All My Sons or something like that, can't remember, but man, they were awesome. So shout out to them because they did great, you know, because they're definitely watching my vlog right now. <laughs> um, let me show you where we're at right now. And yes, I am on my phone because A, I don't know where my camera is and B, if I could find it, pretty sure it's dead and don't know where the charger is. So sorry about the quality, but it is what it is, you know? So here in the entryway, we've got the cool screen that I bought recently at an antique store, our little entryway um, table, and we'll put the mirror right here. This is where the living room is currently at. I think it looks really good. Um, we've got this blue painting will go up above the couch. I love this rug. Oh, so good. Um, and over here, we have a little dilemma. So this gold trim we really want to paint it matte black, so we're waiting on permission to see if we can paint it matte black to just kind of make it disappear. This mirror, actually, that was in our bedroom is perfect for right there. We tried so many different pieces of art and nothing was really perfect, and then I had the idea to put that up and it just kind of tied everything in and looked funky and different, and we kind of like it right there. So West Elm Shelf is right there. That mirror will go over in the entry. And then right here, I'm going to do something I've never done before in my entire life, which is get a giant live plant, like not like a fiddly fig, but something like that, maybe like a palm or I don't know. I'm going to try to keep something alive. So I'm going to probably go to Lowe's tonight and find something for this corner right here. Then here in the dining room, we've got these two amazing antique chairs that I bought um, when we were in Broken Arrow for Kristen Chen with Broadway Bootcamp. I'll link that vlog up here if you haven't seen it. Um, but they're going to be the end um, chairs on each side of the table. And then these are our four dining chairs. I've got the candlesticks in here. And we're probably going to do, all of our art is back there, but we'll probably do like a some dining hutch back here. I don't have one yet, but I'll either get one from one of my family members um, or I don't know. But this is the state of the dining room. And then we've got art by my brother jack if you're watching i need another black and white hand-drawn thing like this to pair right here so get on that um the kitchen is looking pretty great this is my favorite spot so far look how actually perfect this little banquette seating is oh i just love it i love it so much i love mismatching furniture i love how it all just kind of goes together even though it's totally different like my dad and i were talking about these are actually his chairs that he's let me borrow. They're like 18th century, very, very antique, dainty chairs. Uh, pair those with this very modern brass um, glass tabletop from CB2. Like those two things do not go together, but 
they just do they go together with and this amazing vintage couch i'm pretty sure from the 60s that's solid wood wrapped all around and these down pillows from pottery barn like it all is so mismatched but it goes so nicely together i just love it so anyway that's where we're currently at in here let me show you the bedroom situations so in here this is why the movers are so awesome Ugh, there's a chair in the way but you can see they totally set up the bed and everything so we don't have to do that that's just there nah. ah <laughs> say hi to the vlog scrimpy scrimpy's been doing the hard work of outside stuff and um his office is coming together um and our bedroom is really coming together oh i'm so excited about the bedroom guys just get freaking ready for the furnished house tour look at my office i love it so yeah that's where we're at that's what we're doing we're feeling great probably won't show you anything until tomorrow so probably catch you tomorrow for we'll see how well i can get this house wrapped up and i'll show you where we end tomorrow night and then stay tuned because soon i'll do the full furnished house tour show you where i got all my new stuff and just show you how everything sets up perfectly in the new house i really love it i'm i'm very pleasantly surprised by just like the quirkiness of the house and how it's so livable even with the very dated aspects of it that aren't what i would choose but honestly it works really perfectly for us and i'm just happy to be back in a place that i have community and people and um just you know it's great so i'll catch you tomorrow for the end of this vlog good morning you guys it is day three of moving sunday it's the last day that i want to take to like move like crazy all day so Today the plan is to just get as much done and unpacked and organized and put away as possible. So that's what we're doing. Before we do that, I wanna show you one sneak peek. So yesterday we got the living room pretty much all done. I have to do a couple extra things in there today, but we got the bedroom, my office, and the bathroom completely and totally done, like 100% done. And this is the only set of rooms I'm gonna show you. And you're gonna have to wait to see the final final version of the rest of the house in the furnished house tour which will be coming up in a couple weeks so don't forget to subscribe but let me show you the bedroom because i love it okay ignore the freaking dog <laughs> stairs because those are just a necessity when you have a six pound morky who can't jump this high but got the bed i love the rug got these prints here got our little shelf situation here we've got our tv hung super freaking high like in a hospital but it's freaking amazing if you don't have your bedroom tv hung high then you aren't living this is my cute office are you kidding me so this is one side and this is the kind of more technical cord boring side but i just love it it's so spacious in here it's a great continuation of the bedroom i'm just like I love it all so much like this might be my favorite bedroom i've ever had it just feels so spacious it's so nice to have my office right here like the commute could not get any better you know what i'm saying if i like woke up and my laptop was right next to my bed and i started working from there like that would be the only situation where it would be better but this is amazing and i love it so much so i'm not sure what we're gonna do today but i'll take you along for the ride and let's finish this puppy up okay here's another sneak peek i'm about to do this shelf so let's decorate it. Look how cute this pot is. Let's hope I can keep it alive. Ay, ay, ay. You guys, when I pack my decor, <laughs> I literally pack it like it needs to survive sitting out in the middle of a field during an F5 tornado. Like, I do not know why I go so over the top with the bubble wrap and the saran wrap. But you know what? It's because I don't want anything to break because I love all my decor and nothing broke. So maybe I'm a genius. Look how cute. Also, yes, I know it's dark in here. I'm trying to have some mood lighting because I'm real chill today, you guys. Like yesterday, I looked at my Apple Watch this morning, actually, and I walked 19,000 something steps, like almost nine miles. Yesterday was a marathon. I feel so accomplished. Like we super did get a lot done, but I'm like not as motivated today. Let's just put it that way. I've hung some art this morning. Um, I've decorated the shelf. I've organized some things. Mostly what I'm doing is sitting here avoiding this situation. And don't worry, it goes into friggin' there too. There's just so much. So 
it's like one of those situations where, where do I even begin, you know? Where do I even begin? And normally I'm like, all right, let's begin right here, let's go. But right now I'm just like, shoot me in the head. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go work on pantry and food. Let's do that. So this is what we have to work with with pantry. And literally yesterday when I was trying to clear stuff off the kitchen counter so that they could move the fridge in. And yes, this is our garage fridge. It needs a deep clean today too. Maybe I'll do that right after so it's done. I just threw all of our food randomly in here. And now I need to like go through it all, figure out where to put everything. The thing I don't like about this pantry is that it's deep, deep, deep shelves, but I don't like stacking things behind other things. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I do love this section because it pulls out. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's tackle the pantry. Okay, spoiler alert, but this pantry actually turned out being amazing. I'm kind of in love with it. I feel like I have so much space and like each category of thing fits perfectly in this space it's assigned to. It's very aesthetically pleasing to look at. I just really enjoy it. Oh, and this is all cleaning stuff, so that's good too. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's so much freaking room in this thing. Like I have that whole bottom half that's totally empty. We have this, we, we're really not stocked right now, but this will be like snacky stuff. This is like baking, cooking, cans, dinner-ish type area, plus Eric's protein stuff. This is all baking stuff, and I don't have anything for down there. And then up in here, I put like all of our overstock, like Costco stuff. I took this hideous mirror down. What up? Also, I changed my shirt because I was so hot. There were some drawers that had old kitchen liner in it, so I have replaced that with, let me show you, pink! Pink kitchen liner. Pink kitchen liner to match my pink kitchen, but I ran out of it before I could fill all the very nicely, freshly cleaned cabinet drawers. So I can't really put anything away until they get here, which they're coming today. So, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna deep clean the fridge and then transfer all the stuff from the outside fridge to the inside. And then after I do that, I think I'm going to organize the kitchen counter put all the things that I can put away out and then start unpacking boxes and just sorting everything on top of the kitchen counters until the drawer stuff gets here. So let's clean the fridge, I guess is what I'm saying. Okay, let me tell you a story about this fridge without getting too specific, but just so I can set the scene for what you're watching me deal with right now. So this fridge was from our house in Oklahoma City, which my dad owned and we rented from him. And this fridge was the fridge that fit perfectly in that house and that the people who rented the house from him before we lived there made a mess of, we'll put it that way. So I'm cleaning this fridge. I mean, and I cleaned it when we used it in our garage, but it has sat in our garage over time. So this is like a little bit of my mess, but mostly it's leftover renter's mess. I am cleaning someone else's mess here is essentially what I'm trying to say. And it was disgusting and it took me an hour and a half. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was an hour and 15 minutes of my life. I will never get back, but the fridge is semi-decent. Okay, now I think I'm going to start tackling this kitchen. Let's do it. Say hi to the vlog, dad. Hi, vlog. He is the official picture hanger art finder placer of help me style everything person install dimmer lights and do construction and laundry although he's not that great at the laundry part sorry this kitchen is a freaking project okay eric and i have accumulated so much freaking kitchen stuff as we've gotten better at cooking at home and we primarily eat at home and cook at home eric is a great chef he grills like a total professional and we just have a lot of cool kitchen gadgets and appliances and tools and man was it a mammoth to unpack and organize oh my gosh you guys like three hours later the kitchen is done it is all put away pretty much i'm exhausted eric is doing one final thing of putting the gate on and we've pretty much got everything together and done. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for the furnished house tour because it's gonna be good. You guys, I'm loving this house. It's such a great space. 
I, it, it's awesome, even better than I expected. So can't wait to show it all to you once it's done in a few weeks. Still waiting on things like dining table in here and you know, little stuff. But for the most part, it's done. We're completely unpacked, art's all hung, everything's put away and organized. So I'm calling this video good. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.